Hey everybody out there, my name is Chris Nicholson. Today I want to talk about travel keyboards. So I did many, many travel keyboards in the past. My first one was the IK Multimedia Mini, which was a 37 key. I think it was 37 keys. It was a white one. And also then I upgraded to this right over here. Um, this is actually a guitar case, everybody. This was a guitar case. It was triangle shape. And what happened is that I took this straight over to a... Um, a guy who actually customized keyboard and uh, guitar cases and I said can you do me a favor can you actually take my keyboard and customize a case around it and he did so this was a Fender uh, travel size guitar uh, case and he customized it so let me open up let me show you what's inside of it first I'm going to show you what's inside the pocket um, I take two USBs just in case if one fails on me so this is one I'm gonna keep this out anyway and this is another one. Usually have batteries. I only have one battery in here, which is no problem. And also I have a sustain pedal. So basically with this keyboard that I'm about to actually unwrap, this is a sustain pedal that uh, is compatible with it. So let's unwrap the keyboard. And this right over here, everybody, this is my Korg Micro Air Key. I absolutely love this keyboard as in traveling. It's 61 keys, has a pitch bend modulation wheel, and also has an up, up and down octave, which is really neat. Um, on the other side over here, I hope you guys can see it, you have the sustain pedal, you have the USB, and also you have the on and off switch. So just in case if you wanted to put it on a computer, if you're on a computer, it's USB powered from the computer, which is really neat. And on the bottom of it, you have um, two AA batteries right over here, which is pretty cool. And it's Bluetooth. It's Bluetooth. It's light. This fits underneath my seat in the airplane. Uh, also, this, feet, this, this is really good. Say, for instance, if I'm waiting in a terminal, I could put this on my knees, uh, you know, basically <laughs> on my lap, I should say. And, um, and just play, just put my headphones on and play. Um, I use my iPad for this, everybody. So when I, when I have it on my lap, sometimes it slips a little bit. And I got these from the dollar store. It usually comes in a big sheet. And I got these and I just put, put it on and it just doesn't slip at all. So that is one travel keyboard that I absolutely just love. This is still my favorite one. And um, anytime that I need to go somewhere just out quick and have a piano with me, I usually just take this one. All right, everybody. I did a video on this silicone flexible roll-up keyboard. And I tell you this, uh, <laughs> ever since I did that video, I have not taken this back out of the box. Because um, number one is called Piango. And a lot of people have... Um, posted messages on me saying that piango in Italian means I'm crying. I don't know for sure, but um, I tell you this. When I was excited when I first got this, I was like, oh, this is so cool. It's 88 keys. It rolls up, and I can put it anywhere. And after I did the video, I was really, really, really disappointed. And I don't like to talk bad about any other keyboard company, any keyboard company or a piano company that, um, that makes these things. I mean, they try their best. They try their best and everything. Uh, first of all, is that when I, when I um, was looking up at the advertisement on YouTube, it was definitely misleading. There was some sorcery going on on this, and it did not sound like the original product. Now, I'm not going to play it, but I'm going to take it out the box, because if you guys want to hear it, you see the video of the piano that I did, um, did a review on it. So I'm going to take it out the box. First of all... It came with a sustain pedal. This is a doctored up sustain pedal. I actually took the original sustain pedal and rewired it to this M Audio sustain pedal because when I first got it, it was clicky clacky. And it was so uncomfortable, just click clack, click clack, click clack. And so I doctored it up and I used this M Audio um, sustain pedal that didn't work and just, just took the jack out of the original one and doctored it up and it worked perfectly. So. This also has a Velcro uh, strip on the bottom of it, but I doctored that up. The original one I threw away. Uh, it comes with 
a little charger right here for USB. And I'm gonna take this out the box. You see, it's still everything original packaging. And take this out. And I, I was like, wow, this is really cool. This is really, really cool. So it can't even I cannot even roll the right way. So that's it. First of all, is that once you set this up, you have to have some kind of board on the bottom of it. So I got this. And as I said, I'm not going to play it. Go back to the reviews. But you have to go like this to it in order for the keyboard to actually be right. Once you turn it on, some of the notes get stuck. And I thought this would be really nice because it's 88 key. And these are a little bit raised, but not that much. But every time I press it from up here and I go like this, it goes, you know, it's, it's, it's terrible. It goes, ding, 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 ding. It's, it's, it was very, very bad. So on top of that, it's 88 keys and it's not touch sensitive. So I'm like, okay, this is terrible, terrible, terrible. So I'm um, going to be honest with you, everybody. This I'm going to give to a family member. Um, I'm not keeping this. I'm actually going to give this to a family member and... If they want to learn how to play the keyboard, or they have an 88 key right here, they can use it for the iPad. This was very, very good for an iPad. Very, very good for for uh, like iPad apps and everything. And um, I tell you this, I haven't taken it out of the box ever since I did that review video. So this is the Piango, and I'm going to show you what I got next. Well, today I was expecting a package, and I got this from Amazon, everybody, and early in the morning Amazon is so good with deliveries I tell you this uh, early in the morning I got a knock on the door and a dog was barking and this came so actually I'm gonna open it up start to open it up and show you this one side over here here's the other side over here try not to damage anything <laughs> there we go Let me do this one over here There we go. Okay. And I forgot this. There we go. All right. It's weird because you won't believe it. You see the size of this box right over here? Look at this. The size of that box and the size of this box. Wow. Everybody. This right over here, this is a folding 88 key keyboard. Now, I did some research on this, and this actually, you could get this at Amazon. Um, there's some videos uh, basically from China that were doing this, and this to me looks like a really, really good um, competitor to all the other ones that I just showed you. Wow, look at the size of the box on here. This is... This is very, very portable. I am gonna take out, um, I'm gonna take out my other keyboard. Actually, I'm gonna do that a little bit later. But let me just open up this box. Now, the company on here is is, is actually called VTOP, V-E-E-T-O-P. And this is an 88 key foldable electric piano. It's MIDI, uh, it's, it has MIDI compatible. Uh, you can play games with the piano games. Um, it has a teaching capability with an iPad, and it's easy to carry. To me, this carries. This is a little bit of weight, but it's still in a little portable package. All right, so let's open it up and see what we get. Wow, that is pretty cool. That, look at that. That is pretty cool. The way how it's wrapped. And everybody, look at this. This is the piano itself. Wow, that is nice. That is nice, and you won't believe it. I'm feeling it from the bottom. Keys do the keys already do feel really nice. Okay, so let me um, before put that right there. What else is in here? You got um, this right over here. Is looks like the sustain pedal. That feels very very nice. You know, this is a plastic plasticky sustain pedal. I'm going to take everything out of the packages and 
check this out. You got a little carrying tote bag right over here. Wow, that's unbelievable. Okay, so um, let me put this aside because just in case if I don't like it, I can return it or keep it as another project. So put this aside right over here. And look at that. That is that is a lot smaller than my uh, cord for as a tote bag. Okay, so I am going to put this right over here. And let's see, there's hardly any space in my room. <laughs> All right, so first let's take out the sustain pedal and a charging cord. That's a nice sustain pedal. And it has the same connection as the uh, Piango, which is basically the, an eight, eighth inch jack. But all I have to do is just basically put probably Velcro or, or a padding on the bottom of it so it doesn't slip everywhere. But wow, this is a great quality. Good, good quality. Uh, okay. This over here. Let me open it up. And this right here, this is your little charging uh, connection for USB. So it's actually a regular plug to USB. Okay. And this is your charger cable. So your charger cable is basically USB to USB, I think B. USB to USB B. That's what it is. Not USB A. And over here... This is your VTOP manual, and it's only 25, I'm sorry, it's only 15 pages long. Oh wow, this also has styles. That's cool, that's cool. All right, so let's open it up. As I said, everybody, you can get this on Amazon. You can definitely get this on Amazon. Wow, very excited. Okay. Look at that. Looks like there's some dust right over here. That's probably from the packaging. But let me move this stuff out the way. And oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Let's take all the plastic off. Actually, plastic's from the bottom. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is take it off from right here. And over here. All right, so how about this? Let me take off the plastic and then do the unveiling. Okay, so I took off all the plastic and I'm just going to feel the keys feel really good. Wow, I can even take this out on a gig. These keys feel really, really nice. Now, as I said again, this is supposed to be touch sensitive. It's supposed to be touch sensitive. You have two speakers, one right over here, and you have another speaker right over here. So I'm just gonna turn it on. Um, well, before I turn it on, let me just flip it over so I can show you. There is a piano hinge, like a little piano hinge, because it's a piano, um, on the bottom here. If you get one of these keyboards, you get anything with the hinge on it, Make sure you take a screwdriver and tighten up those hinges as much as they can. So any screws that um, try to come out can't come out. So yeah, this folds just like that. Look at that. Wow. That is so cool. I'm excited, everybody. Um, and on this side over here, uh, this is the, the turn on and off switch. You got your headphone switch over here. You have your MP3. You can actually line in, which is really neat. And over here, this is your sustain pedal. And this is your USB DC in. So you can charge it. Um, it has a, a rechargeable battery that's inside of it. And also, you have the USB um, for any USB connections like an iPad, which is really cool. Okay, so let me take this. Look at that. That is, I'm just amazed, everybody, of the technology. This is, oh, by the way, over here, it's a little rhythm, like a, like a ribbon controller, ribbon um, connection that is really, really good quality. Very, very good quality. And 
even if I go like this, just just a test. I could put this on a stand, and it it, it won't. It's the flexibility on it. It's it's a very very good quality. So I I okay. So let me let me turn it on and play it. I'm very excited. <laughs> when I get excited like this, let me turn it on. Let's see. It's on this connection over here. And there we go. Bluetooth mode. So that's the speaker power that I got on here. Um, let me hook up the uh, sustain pedal. And the cord is not very long, so let's see. The sustain pedal is going to be right over here. And I'm going to have to bring this just a little bit short, shorter distance from me. This is all the way over there. Okay. Let's try it out. I could play it. I could play it. But that's the speaker power that you get over there. So if I wanted to turn up the volume, volume's right here. Uh, it says 12. What if I turn it up even more? It goes up to 15, actually. So on this side, I got the tones, I got the volume, I got the rhythm, I got the tempo, I got the demo, there's a dual voice. Um, transpose, sustain, synchro start. Uh, it has full fingered. Wow, so it has a complement. Uh, dynamic and insert, record. You have a metronome right over here. And I guess um, there's a way how to do that. And also, you have a, a start and play. Um, you have different kind of play modes right over here. But the, the main reason that I got this for is because I'm going to be controlling it with my iPad. And Right now, I pressed a button that I think I should not have pressed, so let me turn it off and restart it again. Bluetooth mode. It is touch sensitive. The keys feel really nice. All right, so let's do this. I have this prepared right over here. Uh, this is my Bose speaker. I'm gonna hook it up to it. Let's just give it a try. Let's see, I think this right over here is the headphones. Turn it on. And here it is. This is if you hook it up to, um, you know, your Bluetooth speaker or something with the line in. I always have to check if we have a key first. Good. The sustain works perfectly. Um, trying to keep a little bit of dust off it. This is still still a little bit of dust on here. <laughs> impressed everybody I am I tell you this the role of keyboard um, as I said I'm just gonna give it to a family member that wants it or a friend uh, this is I definitely highly recommend this if you're gonna just just need a nice 88 key uh, the keys feel really really good on here 
All right, so how about this? Let me hook this up to my studio. I just want to hear how it's going to sound hooked up to the studio. And then after that, I'm going to hook it up to my iPad and give a test. Okay, I finally hooked it up to my studio, which I'm playing out of my big, humongous Mackie speakers. So um, let's give it a test drive. adjust the touch sensibility to make this a little bit more harder but see if I press it very low so that's the that's the one piano sound alone let's go to tones and let's see there's a plus and minus button right over here so different tones on here. Not bad for uh, tones. And by, by the way, everybody, as I said, I got this at Amazon. This was only $170. That's all it is, $170. The piano, the roll-up piano, was $250. This is much, much better quality. Than the piano and this comes with 128 uh, voices and also has 100 I think it has 128 rhythms in it. I don't know how many polyphony it is, but you, you can already hear that the polyphony is cutting off a little bit. Got my speakers cracking a little bit, but... You know? That's the organ right here. guitar it takes takes a little bit to get used to the action on here but um I could doctor it up a little bit you know no pitch bend or modulation wheel so that's a that's a bummer bass not bad huh. that's a fretless right there I guess it's supposed to be a slap I'm just gonna, I'm just flipping through the instrument. That's the tremolo string. Pizzicato. short I give them credit the strings Nice. 
these are all the woodwinds and brass. That one's kind of... All the synthesizer sounds. Oh, I like that. general MIDI sounds right now. the birds. Helicopter. I, I guess these are the drum kits right over here. Turn up the volume a little bit and see. Turn up the volume right here. <laughs> I'm having fun with it. I'm having fun with it. It's it's really 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 nice. Okay, let's see. Um, I guess that's the, only, that's the only drum kit that it has right here. All right, so um, let me press the demo. Let me, let's just hear the demo to see how it is. It came from China anyway, so. <laughs> you know, this is very good quality. Here. Um, all right. 
Okay, so you heard the quality. Everything is going through my studio speakers right here. Um, you have, basically, I'm reading up on here, you have 98 rhythms on here. So you have everything from mambo to, let's see, to like different kind of discos on here. You have, basically have the bread and butter uh, rhythms on here. So let's test out the first one, which is 80s pop. So what I do is I think I press rhythm. Let me stop that first. Uh, so this is my first time doing this, all right? So let's go back to piano on here. And then rhythm. Uh, finger, full finger. chords so what I'm looking for is like a fill-in on here I guess it doesn't have a fill-in um, it just has full and finger chords on here so this I don't think there is a um, I don't think there is a fill-in on here but I will read up more about that that one rhythm is not bad that's not bad at all. okay so let's listen to uh, actually let me get this back let's listen to some of the other rhythms on here so let's go to uh, Funky Soul, which is uh, rhythm number nine. So go right over here to number nine. And here's a Funky Soul right over here. rhythm gives you the drum beat right there and also over here you have a tempo you have a tempo so if I want it a little bit faster from right there so um i'm at not bad i'm gonna go through all of these and see which is my favorite rhythms and then make another separate video on it another thing that i found out about this is that say for instance you go to tone i can um take off the chords and i can transpose on it so here it's transposing below six and above six. Not bad. I am, I am truly impressed. Very, very impressed. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to hook this up to my iPad and give it the ultimate iPad test. You ready? Okay, so this is going to be the ultimate test, everybody. This is the main reason why I bought this keyboard right over here. Now, right here, this is my iPad, and my iPad is my full synthesizer. It is basically my uh, music studio. Um, only thing I wish this had was a pitch bending modulation, but you know what, boohoo, it's okay. It's perfectly, perfectly okay. So what I wanna do is basically put on a Ravenscroft, and every time I'm in a, at, at the airport, I have my, um, my Bluetooth speaker, my iPad right now it's hooked up to my studio and let's give it a test drive wow and it works perfectly as you can see all right how about this my own preset 
This is the Chris Nicholson Ravy. Respond to transpose. So if I press the transpose button, uh, there's a little bit of a. I mean, it responds to transpose, but sometimes what happens is that I guess if you hold a note, it gets stuck uh, during the MIDI on there. But wow, wow, it responds to the transpose. That's unbelievable. Okay, so that is the Ravenscroft, everybody. Go to my other preset right over here. This is Chris, Chris Nicholson Ravy 2. That's all I need it for, basically. All right, uh, let's go to the other apps. Let's exit out of that one. I want to go into um, the Korg app. I love to go into like the M1 because the M1 is my all-time favorite workstation. And check this out, Universal. It's going to one world. Here's the T1 drums. Plus the M1, I got a T1, a Korg T1. I had, right over here, I have an O&W Pro X. I wish they made that into an app, Korg, hint, hint. <laughs> but now I got a T1 built in right over here, which is pretty cool. Wow. Okay, so, um, all right, let's go into the wave station. How about that? And Guardians. <laughs> Let's see, how about the wave song? I love the wave song. <laughs> and all of this, all like the wave station, the M1, I have in a I have in a synth rack right here, which is pretty cool. So this is amazing, everybody. I I truly recommend this. Okay, let's go into another piano app, which I like. This is the um this is the I Grand Piano, and I want to go into the Saloon Piano right over here. So there's a Saloon, which is a... Uh... Okay, how about this? Let's go to the other saloon piano which I like on here which is the tech and I'm gonna play the same the same as I think my sustain pedal keeps traveling so that's no problem I could um, just stick a little pad underneath it 
and uh Okay, how about the regular grand piano? We'll try the grand piano right here. Not bad. Okay, how about the rich upright? Right over here. Rich upright is good. Just a touch on here, which is pretty cool. Um, that's that is sick. So it controls my iPad, which is very very. I mean, I'm I'm happy. I'm very very happy about that. Uh, let's go into sample tank. I'm just flipping around on here. Um, very very happy. What I gotta do, I have to remember, is to close out my other app. So let sample tank start. I got two of them at the same time to so close out that one, and. Uh, That's actually like the conscious strings. I think I have it too hot here. So. As I said, this, um, it's very lap, looks like it's lap friendly. You know, it does, and there's no bound, I mean, once, once it's basically connected like this, there's no flexibility to it so I can actually put this on a keyboard stand which is very very nice and um, I mean the keys there's a little bit of I mean it's not weighted keys but there's a little bit of resistance which is kind of almost like a weight weighted key on here these two keys up to each other they're kind of a little bit close so maybe I could take it apart and uh, edit that which is which is really good um, I, I really don't have to uh, to touch anything the uh, the sharps are matted, yeah they're they're matted and the um, the white ones right over here the the naturals um, they're they're a bit glossy, but very very nice very very nice. Um, so yes, I definitely if you guys want a cheap eighty eight key keyboard that you want to take around anywhere, I definitely recommend this. All right, so now I want to um, compare it with my other travel keyboard which is the um, the cord and I just want to just fold it up and compare the size of it here we go everybody so I did the iPad test I did the full test on its standalone capability I it, it passed with flying colors to me um, I want you guys to write your review on it just to see what you think about it me it definitely passed the flying colors just a plus 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 um, the Korg has always been my favorite, um, keyboard controller. I'm still going to be using the Korg for like, um, every time, like say for instance, my William Symphony Grand doesn't have a pitch bend modulation wheel and I use it for the controller for that. But this for traveling, I mean, they're both really, really good for traveling. I absolutely just, um, love the way how they design the keys, the 88 keys. It looks so, so good. It feels really nice to play, as I said. Um, there's no lag to it. There's no lag on it. Um, and it's quiet. It's a very quiet action. So I could take this to an airport and I can actually just um, sit on a floor, actually, or, you know, from on the airport, just wait for my plane, sit on a, sit on a floor, or even better yet, just um, put it on my lap with those, uh, those two little scrunchy things that I showed you about. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to compare this, which as you can see, it's mini keys. This is 
This is actually, it's not full size keys, but it's almost to that range that, I mean, my, I have small hands, so no matter what, I could play both of them. But this one, um, the cord, I end up tripping up because it's a lot smaller, and that's one thing about it. But this is made to be a MIDI controller, a mi miniature MIDI controller with 61 keys. Um, this is also made to be a MIDI controller, but 88 keys. So... I have to put this in a case and as you saw the case it was basically customized once I fold this one up Wow this could fit overhead this could fit below the seat my 88 key travel piano I think I found my new one everybody this is amazing and to my cord I am still going to be using it. Um, I don't think I'm going to be traveling with it anymore because now I have this. And th this is, as I said, it's called a V-Top, everybody. So it's a, kind of an off name, but I'm giving them high recognition. This is a gig bag that goes with it. I'm giving them high recognition on my channel, and I'm going to try to contact them and see if I can collaborate with them. You know, that's unbelievable. That's one thing that I like to do with um, with keyboard companies is try to collaborate with them. And this is it right here, everybody. See, this is the two keys together. V very nice, nicely built. This over here, I recognize this is not plastic, everybody. And I, I'm looking at the side of it. This is actually metal bracing. This is metal bracing. This is the key action right over here. Wow, it kind of looks like a melodica. You know, like a big melodica, you know? But, um, put this in. Now, I don't feel bad for my ukulele friends. <laughs> I, well, I used to. They used to carry around their ukuleles. And I used to carry around a big, humongous, hunking keyboard. Um, so, now I get to be one of those people and this is perfect it it doesn't weigh as much as the box did you know so right there I could put my sustain pedal right over here and my iPad will be in another box and comparing both of them together Wow look at that you see the size of the 88 key already folded up and also the 61 key that cannot fold up and, you know, before they came out with this, I was about to see if I could get two 61 keys and put them side by side and split them. But I'm like, Chris, that's stupid. That's very, very stupid. They came out with this, and this is my new travel piano, everybody. I could take this anywhere. And now I am so happy that I got this. Um, this company is going to get very, very good reviews from me. And my channel is going to get more recognition and I'm gonna see if I could do a collaboration with the VTOP company. So everybody, thank you so much. If you have any more questions, do me a favor, click like, subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. And um, click like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, which is Chris Nicholson, which is my name. And um, if you can't join me as a friend, go to my Facebook fan page, which is the Chris Nicholson uh, fan fan club. I'm going to also post pictures on this and also I'm going to uh, do more videos on this controller alone. This is so so good. So thank you so much everybody and take care of each other and take care of yourself. Bye everybody.